Why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify... Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Oh, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's... she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. 
It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both the speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory.
No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We are infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an airstrike. You have to. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. you're listening? It's figured out ways around it. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. It's come too far. Okay, people are disappearing. Shut it down now. No. If you won't help me, I'll do it on my own. I'm gonna route all the power back through Tower 6. Kate! Wait, wait. Oh, it's trying to break through again. Kate! Wait! <laughs> 